hope everybody's doing well. This is a little video about me. For those who don't know me, um, I know a lot of you guys like around Shelby know me, but since I have um, expanded my followers a little bit, thank God, um, I love it. Some of you don't know who I am, so I'm just gonna try to make it very short um, and just kind of let you know who I am. Like I said, my name is Jody. I am 40 years old. I just turned 40 in April, so I really don't feel like it, um, but sometimes. <laughs> but um, I love being 40. I have. I am not currently married. I've been married, and those days are done. But I do live with someone. We've been together for six years, and we've known each other for a long time. So. We live together, we do everything together like we're married, but we're just not married, we just don't have the papers. But I love them, and God willing, we'll be together for the rest of our life, and I feel like we will. So, that being said, I have three daughters. Um, I have twins, Alyssa and Mackenzie, that are 22. Yes. And um, Gracie Lee, that is 15. So, I have three girls. Um, I have two sisters, I have girls. Uh, or they're both girls. I got just two older sisters, uh, Stacy and Deidre. They have um, three and two kids themselves. So we have one boy in the family from my, uh, two or three of us girls. So, yep. Um, trying to think what else. Mom and dad. Uh, I was trying to make a list because I don't do good at this, but and try not to move so much. Um, my dad um, was raised here and he went to Shelby High School in Cleveland County. He is uh, kind of known as a, he drove NASCAR. So um, he started, you know, at Hickory um, on asphalt and then drove Dash and Bush and then NASCAR. So, yes, his last race was um, Talladega in 1998, I'm pretty sure. So, I can't remember dates too well, so let's just say that. But, yeah, he raced with the big boys, so I'm very proud of him. He done really good. He did not have the money that um, some of the guys done, but he done good with what he had. So, yes, i um, very proud of that. My mom, she is from Pokeville. Um, she was born and raised there. They met, married, and they opened an auto parts, auto parts business together. So, in 1972, so they have... Um, Standards Auto Parts, which is a used auto parts business. Uh, me and my sisters, we actually grew up around it. And um, so that's what we do now is run it. Unfortunately, I lost my dad in 2014 to cancer. So it was really quickly. I was daddy's girl. Uh, yes, I miss him. I still do. But it is. So um, he left the business to us and me and the middle sister, um, we were kind of more into it, so we were keeping it running, and she's doing more of it because of my health. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's what we do. We sell used auto parts. Check us out at www.steenridgeautoparts.com if you want to know a little bit more about us. We do ship worldwide, so um, we're known for all our shipping. Most of our things are on eBay um, if you want to join us there. Um... Trying to think, I have five, we have five doggies. I have, um, let me think of them. Uh, I have a 19 year old, he is over here. Ooh, ooh. Chihuahua, yes, I said 19 years old. So I have had him for 19 years. It's come the time that I have to put him down, which is very sad. Um, so within the next, I keep saying month, but you guys, it's really coming down to it. Um, He's three-legged. About 10 years ago, he lost one of his legs. So, but he's done really good. But now's the point. I mean, and he still lives. It's like, gosh, dog. I mean, not that I want you to die, but I don't want to kill you, but I want to watch, watch you suffer. So, um, then usually we don't have dogs in the bed, but becoming that I'm losing him. Um, Neil's been kind of been okay with letting uh, said here uh, sleep with me lately, which is only like the past, you guys like the t past, Three, three, four months on and off. So sometimes he won't jump up, but yes. Uh, we have a big lab that's three years old. He is a little overweight. Um, he has some skin problems. So he has a reason to be a little bit because he's been on steroids. Well, I don't know where he went. Uh, 
Oh, there he is. I have no idea how I missed him. This is usually where he stays. Um, yeah, in the floor. So he is three years old and he is an absolute like big baby. Aren't you? Oh, so this is what he does half the time. Yeah, so it is nighttime, so. <laughs> I love, like, I just want to squeeze him, squeeze him, squeeze him so tight. So, I love dogs. Um, but yeah, he's just a big baby, and he snores like that every night. Check him out on Instagram or TikTok. Yes, yeah, so, um, I do get kept up many nights of that snoring, and he'll grab our little covers and just pull them off into the floor, and he'll be covered up. He's, he's just so sweet. So, um, on the other side of the house, um, the girls, they're still here. I have a vet tech and one going to school for a nurse. So they're in college clothes. So as long as I love for them to be here, as long as they're in school doing good. So I got a nurse and a vet tech. And of course, Gracie's still 15. But they are kind of, this house I was built, um, it was, part of it was built in 1980. Part of it was built, like I grew up in it. And then part of it was built in 2005 and we connected on. So it's kind of like a big house. So they kind of have their little space over there. And then we have our space over here. And it works out because they got their dogs and we got our dogs. So, they have two that, since I have set over here, then they have two. Um, Alyssa has a, um, oh my God, I forgot. Oh, oh God. Anyway, and then I was trying to, um, Husky, Husky. Oh, and she is beautiful, y'all. She is beautiful. Uh, she... And then, um, another one that's like a chihuahua looking dog. But anyway, um, uh, other than that, y'all, sorry. I just, um, trying to stay still too. Um, I wanted to do this just so people would know kind of what, um, what I do now. First, let me talk about my bladder. I do have some health problems. So I want to say this because a lot of people might say, oh, well, I see strong. I see strong is interstitial cystitis. So, um, that is to do with my bladder, which is a condition that is not curable. Um, it is very painful. Um, it is inflammation and things going on in the bladder. I'm not going to get into it. If you want to look it up, it is interstitial cystitis. And together with that, I have bladder retention. So, my bladder doesn't empty out all the way. So, therefore, I'm like infection all the time over here. I do have a battery in my back that shocks my um, nerves in my in my spine to my bladder to make it try to make shock it to make it empty. I've had it in for about a year and a half. It's not working too good, but I haven't gave up yet. Um, so with those together, it's, it's very hard. Um, with those challenges lately, I have had to, um, not be able to work as much as I've liked because they have talked about removing my bladder and that itself comes with a lot. So we're just, um, just trying to see about that. But I do about 12 months out of a year, I keep an infection. I mean, on a lot of antibiotics all the time. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm so rude. But um, I am I'm on antibiotics all the time, IVs. Uh, my body's rejects, not rejects, but is immune to a lot of the antibiotics now. So it just depends on what it is. We deal with it. Um, they go in and stretch my bladder about once a year with hydrogen and it helps to kind of relieve a lot of that pain. That's like I said, that's incurable. I'm trying to like really explain it really quick. Um, so therefore I take antibiotics. It causes other things, your pH your all your levels, your blood levels, your white blood cells, this and that, uh, it causes all your, um, Tell me problems over here and then you get c diff and this and that and other throw up blah 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 antibiotics are tough and it's very they are tough on my body um like this last round like i lost 20 pounds totally not good um but i stay around the same way unless i'm on something like that so yes i don't know if i'm gonna feel good tomorrow or bad tomorrow or what i'm gonna feel like or if i'm gonna have a fever or if i'm gonna see so and this just kind of you know what i do i mix a uh, lot of cane sodium and ho uh, heparin into a vial and i cap myself and i'll put the medicine into my bladder and then um at the same time i'll release uh from my bladder 
So yeah, that's all about that. So if you see, I see strong, that's what that is. Um, we are the teal, kind of like the teal back there on that. It is the teal ribbon for a cure. So uh, say a little prayer for us. Hopefully one day, hey, I am, actually I go to Wake Forest, um, Dr. Evans, and I have been used for research, but so that makes me feel good too. Um, another thing, I am a recurrent alcoholic. Um, I don't like to say it like that. I like to say that I used to be an alcoholic, but technically is recovering. Everybody knows, if you know me, I loved my beer. Um, during COVID, I started drinking liquor and it just got bad. And I, no more. So that's it. No more. So it's been a year and five months since I've had any kind of alcohol and I'm so proud. Um, I feel so much better. I want to talk about that one day too, if I'm able, um, God willing, uh, just to other people, be a sponsor, whatever God may use me for on that. So I would love to, like it, it's only been, you know, uh, that's actually is a long time if you think about it, but it hasn't been hard for me at all. I have not struggled. Thank God. Um, if I do, like I said, hopefully I don't. If I do, I do, but let's just pray to God that everything. So, my biggest thing is God uh, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. I am a Christian. I guess that's all. Uh, what I do now. What I do now. Um, I just... I still sell cars. Uh, I do the car parts, title work, things like that. Ever need notarizing, book work. I've done it all. Um, I went to Crest here um, in Shelby in Cleveland County all my life. Um, took, I didn't do a lot of college because I was raised right here. Um, the yard is still like right in my backyard. It was so great. My sister lives right down the road uh, or with the walking distance. Perfect like that. Oh, uh, da, da, da. so, uh, like I said, with my health and conditions, I try to, I, I'm not able to do a lot pretty much. So I've collabed with like jewelry pieces that I do sell some and clothing. So I am all a supporter of small businesses and very family person, love family, not into politics. So don't ask me nothing. Cause I don't watch it. I'll listen. I don't talk about it much because obviously what, from what I hear, they don't know no more than I know, so I just really, there's nothing for me to say about it. Um, I will voice my opinion on things, but I try to keep, you know, I don't know. I absolutely hate drama. I think being like when I was growing up in school, I was friends with guys because they're not full of drama. No, to be friends with guys, I have a lot of guy friends. You don't have to screw them or whatever else. They can be your friend. Trust me. I know. Um, other than that, people talk about me all the time. <laughs> if they do, what I think about that, I really don't care. If you don't have anything else to do but talk about me, then you're the one that's got the problem. If you don't like to watch me, hey, go watch me. Just skip right over me. Um, take, take me off your follow, whatever you want to do. But I, personally, I love all of y'all. I love getting your messages. I love interacting with y'all. Um, have any questions? Hey, I have questions for y'all. We all help each other and it's just, uh, it is what it is. So if you have any questions, anything you'd like to say to me, I'm here. Just send me a message. Need any car parts, any vehicles, um, visit us at, uh, www.stanridgeautosales.com. Let's just do stanridgeauto.com. You can remember that more. Um, look at what we have. If you need any car parts, like I said, you watch what I sell. If you want to like anything I have, purchase small businesses, I'm all for that. You'll probably see my doggies a lot and you can follow me on Facebook. My name is Jody Renee Stanridge and on Instagram, I do like Instagram more than anything. I do not like TikTok that much. Um, so you will see a lot that I am. Instagram kind of person and I love 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 my dogs so like I said uh standard 47 that is my dad's number um and I think that's all I think I wanted to show y'all my girls I have pictures everywhere so but yeah 
And oh, that's not a good picture. Like the other part of my house, she would be very surprised. So, yeah. What's the thing is I have twins that are, oh, I love deer hunting. We all love deer hunting. We got animals, deer. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. We do. Um, You like your thing? We like our thing. Here's some couple of deer. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, so we all, we all, we all, we all like to deer hunt. Not the ducks, nothing like that. Just deer hunt, fishing, all country boy. I grew up. In a junkyard, <laughs> salvage yard. So, all right. Well, I hope I get to meet many of y'all, and I hope this helps a little bit for anybody who does not know me. And I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you following, and I love you all. Peace, love, and what is that? Oh, I flipped on the thing. Oh, well, that's instant. Bye bye.